What's going on YouTube? This is Coach MT. And uh, I just figured I'd make a, a quick video. Uh, I'm sitting here in line waiting to pick my daughter up from school. Uh, this is her freshman year and it's raining. And I have the luxury of working from home, you know. One of the great thing, <clears throat> one of the greatest thing I love about being a dad and having my time freedom is being able to do stuff like this, all right? That's one of my biggest things, you know. Of course, we all wanna be wealthy, we all wanna be rich and all that kind of stuff. But uh, my first goal was to get to financial freedom, right? Or time freedom where I can choose to use my time how I want to. And that's one of the things I, I, I coach on uh, inside the uh, FILA University. Not just credit, not just consumer reports, but really how do you get yourself to that, to that freedom point? So, but I'm not here to talk about me and I'm here to talk about, you know, what I can do for you. Or well, maybe a little bit, but uh, I just wanna make a, a video about making a decision, okay? Making a decision when it comes to you and the things that you have to do for yourself. It's one thing my, my dad used to tell me a lot when I was younger, he was like, boy, ain't nobody coming to save your ass. And when I was younger, I was like, what the hell does that mean? Like, what do I have to be saved from? And as I got older, I started to understand that if the, whatever it is that you want in life, you're gonna have to do it yourself. Now, there's somebody out there that has either done it or is doing it that you can get that information from, right? Because there's nothing new under the sun. I don't care what anybody says the secret and this the secret sauce and and uh, the the one thing and no, oh, it's just that you haven't discovered it yet, okay? Um, and I, and in my 20 years of being in business and finance and really learning how to create my own process, that's something I've learned. There's nothing new. It's just that I haven't made that discovery. So I'm here to tell you that. No one is coming to save your ass, all right? Um, now, because I, I, I talk a lot about credit and, and, and consumer reports and fixing your finances and things of that nature, I'm just telling you that you're gonna have to make a decision, okay? Um, fixing your credit, restoring your credit, restoring your consumer reports is something that you're gonna have to learn how to do. It, it's, it's two ways to make this happen two ways okay number one you you're gonna have to learn how to how to do this on your own all right there are laws violations um, fees um, complaints there there is there's a lot that goes into restoring your consumer reports and when I say consumer reports I'm adding credit reports in there which because it is a consumer report okay um, and the reason it's a lot is that there are a lot of things that the consumer reports do that they're not allowed to do, but they do because they know you don't understand the process, all right? There are, there, there are laws upon laws upon laws that were created for you, the consumer, that you don't know exist. So you're gonna have to learn these things and apply them for yourself in order to restore your consumer reports. Credit, Early warning services, check systems, SageStream, Anovis, Factor Trust, LexisNexis. There's, I mean, and any other consumer report there is out there. Telecheck, CIC, right? You probably didn't know these things existed. So, step one, you're going to, have to get the information and learn it for yourself. So, you can either go everywhere and learn for yourself, or you're going to, have to purchase it from somebody that has already put it together, right? You're Yes, you're gonna have to spend some money. You can't keep looking for the free stuff, all right? The free stuff only gets you so far. Free stuff only gets you so far, okay? So that's number one, you have to learn this information. Now I can definitely tell you, it has taken me five years to learn everything I know right now, and I'm still learning. I am still learning. And you know how I learn? I buy the information from other people that have learned it. That's what I do. I buy it from other people who have learned it, put it together and I say, boom, now I know it, then I share it with you, okay? The second thing you have to do, now th this is not just with credit, this is with everything. If you want to be financially independent, if you never have to worry about work anymore, if you wanna have your time, your time, 
you're gonna have to buy the information from someone else that has already put it together, has done it, and learn it for yourself and apply it. And it's gonna take some time, okay? Now, the second thing you can do is pay someone to do it for you. Now, if you pay someone to do your work for you, it's gonna cost you a lot of money because that individual is gonna have to take what you're supposed to learn from yourself, for yourself, your problems, your, your mistakes, your not knowings, your, I didn't make that discovery, and they're gonna have to take that on for themselves and put together a process um, from your stuff. So, like, we, we have a program that we restore, we help you restore your credit, you know, restore your, 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 your consumer reports and things of that nature. So we're taking your stuff and the things that we learned and we're creating a, we're creating a process just for you, right? So it's gonna take some time for us to figure out what, what your challenges are and create a program for it. And that right there takes time. It takes time to put all that together right because every time we get a new client there's always another or a new type of collection agency that sprung up somewhere that has taken on someone's debt now we have to figure out okay who the heck is this never heard of them we got to find them make sure they're legit make sure all that's set up find their address their phone number their email address they got a fax number all that kind of stuff we are putting together then, then we get that information out. Okay, now we are we already know the laws to use to apply to that, to apply to the creditors and, and the and the bankruptcies and the and the and the charge offs and the credit. We know the laws, but we got to figure out what your what your challenge is. All right, what else do you need to do? So when you pay someone else to do the work for you, it costs more because they're taking their expertise. Their expertise, all the years of things that they learned, and they put it on, and 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 now they're having to do the work for you, right? Just like um, any project, okay. If you want to build a deck on your house, if you if you never build a deck, you have to learn how to build the deck, then build the deck. Is it going to take you longer? Yes, because you're learning how to build the deck, but you're learning to go as a process. So the next time you build a deck, you already know what to do. You got to go and buy the materials, the wood, the nails, the brackets. You have to know how to measure. You have to move some debris out the way, some shrubbery, all that kind of stuff. But if you paid someone, and it, and it might cost you, I don't know, $2,000 to do it yourself. But if you paid someone to come and do that for you, okay, it may cost you $5,000. Why? Because they're doing it for you, and not only are you paying for them to do it, you're paying for the convenience. While you get to sit back and sip your coffee every morning, and watch them build the deck, and, and you know, and they're doing it for you, so you have to pay for that convenience, all right? And that's with everything. So, number one, whether you're looking to get your credit together, whether you're looking to um, get your all your consumer reports together, whether you're looking to, uh, looks like we're about to start moving, whether you're looking to, um, um, you get your finances together, whether you're looking to get a loan, buy a car, buy a house, it doesn't matter. Either you're going to have to learn how to do it by yourself, right? Take, take the time, buy the information, learn it, apply it, or, and that's, that's one price, or you have to pay someone else to take on your challenges and create a program and do the work for you. That's another price. There's always going to be more. But what's most important is that you make the decision. How bad do you want all this if stuff to change? How bad do you, how bad do you want better credit? How bad do you want that new bank account? How bad do you want to leave your job? How bad do you want to, to buy that new house, get that new car? How bad do you want to have that emergency fund so when a, another pandemic hits or anything in your life that changed financially, you're set? How bad do you want to make an extra 2,000, 3,000, 500 dollars a month how bad right but you you're going to, have to make that decision and the longer you wait the longer it's going to be for you to reach that that process so let's say you've been thinking about getting your credit fixed or thinking about getting over that and you said well i'm gonna wait a month right now now you're now you're 30 days behind and once you say i'll wait that month turns into six months 
happens all the time. So I want you to, 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 to start on making quicker decisions, quick decisions, make decisions now. All right. Wealthy people make fast decisions and slow to change. Okay. They're like, okay, I'm making the decision and I'm going with it. I'm going right. When I, when I find new stuff that works, I buy and I go with it. And I, and then here's the things that happen sometimes. Sometimes I get everything I need. Sometimes I get a little bit of what I need, but I always find something I need in that. Now, wealthy people and successful people make quick decisions and they slow to change. Unsuccessful people and unwealthy people make slow decisions, but they quick to change. Oh, let me see. Let me do my research. Let me look at this. Let me look at that. Let me try to find a new, a better price. Let me do this and do that. And as soon as something goes wrong, they, they oh, I, I want a refund. Uh, let, me find, let me find something different to do. I want to quit. All right, so think like successful people. Make the quick decision and slow the change. Make your decision, stick with it. When you make the decision, find what you need to do to make it work. Find what you need to do to make it work. Okay, so Coach MT, just want to make a video here in the car. It's not going to be any editing or any of that nature. Um, all the links you need are going to be down in the description area. All right, follow me on Instagram. That link's going to be down there. Uh, join our Facebook group. That link's going to be there. And um, I'm going to put a link to the main page of my website, right? So you can just go right to the website. And then at the top, if you're on your desktop, at the top, you're going to see a list of what you need. You're going to see EWS. You're going to see credit. If you're on your cell phone, at the top right, you're going to see three, you're going to see three lines. And that's how you get to the other web pages, okay? So Coach MT, I'm here to help. You know, somebody did it from somebody did it for me years ago. Um, you know, I was out there looking for help, um, and I found it. I, I invested in myself, and now today, now now today, um, I'm 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 close to the point to where the amount of income I earn monthly is some people's yearly income. Okay, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm not saying it happened overnight because it took some years. Yes, it did. It took some years, but. I was willing and I made the decision to invest in myself, okay? Because like my dad said, nobody was coming to save my ass. And I had to I had to figure this out. I tell my girls the same thing. No one's coming to save your ass. Even now, you know, my, my daughter's in high school right now. I tell the same thing. You have to, if you wanna know it, learn it. Well, I don't wanna do it. Well, somebody's doing it, okay? So, hope you got some value today. All the links are down below and I'll connect with y'all soon.